what is going on game master we'll be showing you how to make a script for any game you play so what you need for this is the game guardian app and the qlua text editor both links in the description also if you want the full detailed guide of how to make scripts for any game check out my ebook link in the description also and without further ado let's get started so you will open up the editor and we'll be starting by creating a menu so that the user can select any of the options within so we'll start creating a menu that has two options so i want you to write exactly what i'm writing and we'll start by creating a menu that has two options the first option being subscribe and the other option being fly hack so as you can see what i've typed you'll type exactly that but you can replace subscribe and fly hack with whatever you want so i'll just save this file as test you can save it however you want and i'll execute the file just to show you guys how it works remember we added two options so just select the gg and go to the directory where you save the file and now we'll execute so i'll execute my test file and as you can see guys we have two options the subscribe and the fly hack however we can add even more options so i'll just add an extra option to show you guys how it really works so i'll add a speed hack and save so i'll just add the speed hack and so remember to save every time before you execute and as you can see when we execute we have now three options but well what you'll notice is that whenever we select any option the script does nothing it just ends so we'll be changing that by making the script responsive such that when the user selects any of the options we get feedback so we'll start with the first option that is subscribe we'll make the script give a response when someone selects subscribe so as you can see i'm trying to make the subscribe button to give an alert to alert the user to subscribe to one of place as you can see if menu is one remember subscribe is first fly hack is second speed hack is third and when you execute and select subscribe there you go the script tells you to subscribe to run a place and also if you haven't subscribed make sure to that to subscribe and hit that notification button so we'll be going next to the fly hack so again this time because the fly hack is second on the list we we'll say if many is two remember subscribe was first now we are doing the fly hack so fly hack will be second so we'll be starting by you'll have to know the digit so we'll start by saying gg search number this is a function that tells the script to search the number five and you also have to specify the data type as you can see the gg type d word so we are searching a number that data type is d word so as you can see gg search number type d word next we have to get the results that we want to edit as you can see we want to get a hundred results and next we'll be editing as you can see gg edit all so this code simply says that tells the script to search a number five get the first 100 results and edit all to 10 and now we'll be testing it so just let's test it when you select fly hack as you can see it searches five and bam it changes it to 10 immediately and as you can see it has changed the first 100 results so now let's test this hack in a real game so i'll be testing it on guns of boom and we'll be doing the fly hack and it's on and as you can see guys we, we're now flying we don't touch the ground because the fly hack is on So we will also test the fly hack on another game just to be sure that it really works so i'll just test it on bullet force and again we'll select the fly hack wait for the script to execute and now watch it work boom as you can see guys it really works you fly and this can be replicated for any code not just the fly hack so next i want us to look at the speed hack remember we had the third option as the speed hack and just as we did in our first two options we'll be doing if menu is free so we'll do three this time if menu is free then we'll write the code for speed hack 
so gg set speed and we'll do a speed of let's do 500 so i just set the speed to 500 remember this 500 you can write any number depending on the speed you want you can write any number and i'll be testing it on this gg tester i'll also leave the link in the description of this app if you want to so i'll execute and now watch the speed of the ball go crazy as you can see we changed the speed and now the ball speed has changed so next i want us to look at how to add an extra menu so i'll just add an extra underground hack remember we only had three now i'm adding a fourth extra menu so i just added there up top to the choice so that it can be included and the user can select that so down here we'll come and add the code for the fourth option so if menu is four again we add another code so gg search number this time we'll be searching a float number as you can see it has a fractional part so we'll be, uh, we'll be searching it as float as you can see when i go to when I go to select the data type, I put in GG search number 6.7 and it's float. So remember we are replicating the first one, we'll also get results this time. As you can see, GG get results, 100 will be getting the first 100 results. And to edit, GG edit all, we'll be editing it to a higher number. So maybe 77 and again, make sure to specify your data type even when editing so remember the data type of float will enter float again and to summarize we'll just end and now let's test this underground hack so again this is another game this is hide online so we'll just test the underground hack to see if it really works so i'll just select the underground hack and wait for the script to execute so just let's see how this works boom there you go guys as you can see you can now hide underground this is a game where you have to hide online and with this hack you can hide underground and as you can see it really works so <clears throat> next i want us to look at how to terminate a script as in when you're finished when you want your user to exit maybe if they open the script without knowing or something like that they just want to exit so we add an exit option as you can see i added a field option that says exit now we'll go down here and add the code to exit as you can see if menu is five then so we we'll just add a simple code to exit as you can see os exit and make sure it's a function and now to end script and soon as we've done that we'll just test this exit script to make sure that it works as it's supposed to remember to to save your file every time you execute so now let's exit and see boom as you can see script ended exit as soon as you select that it just exits remember if you want a full detailed guide on scripting check out my ebook where i cover all functions and aspects of scripting with game guardian link in the description and that's it for today guys and until next time